is it a more Tibetan style uh, stupa uh, could be very significant and I think very useful for reminds is it not only is the Buddhist has a uh, spirit uh, spirituality but also uh, Tibetan Buddhist culture. Built in the 15th century in southern Tibet, the great stupa of Gyantse is a treasure of the Buddhist world. Currently, a great stupa of the same shape and size is being constructed near Bendigo in southern Australia. Being 50 metres wide at the base and rising to a height of just under 50 metres, the great stupa of universal compassion will be the largest stupa in the Western world. The Great Stupa was the vision of Lama Tubdanyeshi, who visited a Tisha Centre in Bendigo in 1981. Lama Yeshi created a plan for a big stupa with a large temple and a library inside. Lama's plan also called for a monastery, Buddhist retreat centre, lay community and hospice. Today, much of this plan has become a reality and the Comprehensive Development Plan for the 120-acre site has been approved by the planning authorities. Since Lama Yeshe passed away in 1984, the Great Stupa has been under the spiritual direction of Lama Zopa Rinpoche. Lama Zopa has said of the Great Stupa, The Great Stupa will illuminate the world. It will give so much peace, so much peace of mind to people all over the world. The stupa is something that <clears throat> uh, has special feeling of serenity, serenity, peace. Anyone who anyone who sees the stupa, anyone who gets stupa, <clears throat> you get this feeling, <clears throat> this wonderful project, uh, most pleasing, wonderful, most satisfying, most fulfilling uh, for uh, uh, everyone in this world, especially in Australia, especially. Uh, say, People in Australia, here in Bendigo, uh, most uh, wish feeling, most uh, satisfying, full feeling. You see, <coughs> uh, that brings uh, unbelievable peace and happiness in the heart. Uh, uh, even those who see the picture, even those who see the picture, and even those who hear of the stupa, who see that photo in it, far from you know distance in other, in, other, in other countries, you know, those who see pictures, who hears about it, <coughs> get a lot of benefit, uh, purify their mind. Now here, the stupa here, is a, you see, not, not, not this size, if, if this size <laughs> has that much, has unbelievable mind-blowing benefits. So now here, this, here, this stupa is uh, <laughs> so much bigger than this one, you know. So much bigger than this one. <laughs> Still so much bigger than this one. Other spiritual leaders who have blessed the site by their presence include His Holiness Sakya Trism. I'm very happy to be here and I think it's a great uh, benefit to construct a uh, great stupa here on this land. I think this will uh, definitely uh, help to spread the Buddha Dharma and uh, prevail the peace and the harmony not only on this region but in the in entire world. So I wish this project uh, a great success. Reba Rinpoche, Geshe Lama Konchok, Lama Lundrup and Master Tik Pak Kwei. In November 1994, Kensa Kangyur Rinpoche consecrated the site to subdue all hostile energies and create an atmosphere of peace and goodwill. Some time later, the site was cleared. And in the year 2000, work began on construction of the massive earthworks for the Great Stupa and the Circumambulation Paths. In August 2003, Kensa Rinpoche conducted the ceremony to bury four treasure vases on the site of the Great Stupa. These treasure vases were a gift from His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. 
And uh, if you give a contribution or anything helpful towards the build or establishment of the, of the stupa, and you know the qualities of the Buddha's mind, therefore you create a great cause of you yourself of uh, achievement of the Buddhahood. And not only that, also it can help many beings. And uh, then also whatever you contribute is a worthwhile. Your world also become a very meaningful. Very good, huh? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> On the most auspicious date of June 4, 2004, Geshe Konchog Sering conducted a puja on the site before taking the controls of the machine to commence construction of the foundations of the great stupa. Some months later, the massive foundation footings were completed and work has commenced on erection of the steel framework of the great stupa. The great stupa is designed to last for 1,000 years and this has called for innovative solutions from architect Peter Weiss of Lyons, McFarlane and Marshall, structural engineers Connell, Mott, MacDonald, services engineers BRT and Prowse Quantity Surveyors. These companies have all offered considerable cost reductions, as have steel companies, industrial galvanizers and GFC Industries. And world famous Feng Shui authority Lillian Tu has provided free advice on the direction of the Great Stupa and its internal layout. While most of the construction has to be done by professionals, there is already a big contribution from volunteers. Visitors to the Great Stupa can view the amazing and inspiring collection of sacred Buddhist relics that have been offered to the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. These relics are on display every weekend and public holiday at the Great Stupa Exhibition Center. And twice a year, the Great Stupa Holy Relics tour to temples around Australia and Asia. Visitors can also see the holy objects that have been gathered for the Great Stupa, including the four metre high Guru Rinpoche statue. Expected to cost $15 million, the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion is funded entirely by donation. Your support is most welcome. By building this, that uh, main aim is mm, to generate to uh, to mm, to bring peace and happiness. Uh, you see, mm, uh, in the area in Australia, in the whole world, to all living beings. <coughs> How that is, you see, by that is, you know, by you see, changing the changing the negative thoughts, harmful thoughts, into positive thoughts. The good heart, the tolerance, you know, the uh, loving kinds of compassion to so transform, you see, in the, in the say, p um, peaceful, healthy mind. Uh, support for such a noble uh, Dharma work, uh, it, I think, one uh, as a good way, a good method to create more virtuous uh, karma.